Alright, uh, we all come in into this kind of issue. Sometimes uh, we, we have hard drives. The hard drives uh, deinstalled from this. It went bad. In fact, this computer eats hard drives. Every time you put a hard drive in, about a month later, the hard drive smart feature fails. Uh, brand new ones, refurbished ones, uh, everything. So, I want to show you something here. Okay, on this side, I only put uh, one memory chip in. They're two gigs a piece. There's the other one down there. And I have a, uh, see if I can get the light. Right, there's a three, 32 gig SIM chips in there. And so what this, uh, I'm going to install, the idea is to put Ubuntu on that SIM chip because I don't have a hard drive. And uh, just because your hard drive went bad, this might be an option for you. So, uh, and this will work on any computer that will boot up to a memory chip. So this sees 2.6 gigs available on, on the drive. Um, get plugged into power and we're on the internet and we're going to um, not, we're not going to install any uh, uh, third party and all that I'm just going to go through the basic installation what I want to do is show you that this will uh, work without a hard drive so it's kind of useless a big screen like this um, and putting Ubuntu 64 on there it's an older version so it'll go online and download all the new plugins and everything so uh, Anyway, I'm going to go through the install. I'm not going to show you how to do it because I think there's videos online that will show you how to install Ubuntu. But uh, the idea is to install it on a computer that has no hard drive and limited RAM. There's only 2 gigs in there. I'm sure it'll work with 512 or something like that. So uh, here I go. I'll show you at the end of it. I'm going through the steps and it asks if I want to uh, install alongside even though I wiped out the, uh, erased the memory stick and it sees that this is actually a uh, a card, an SD card. It's right there. So it is indeed seeing the SD card and installing on the SD okay, SD card. So uh, that's pretty cool. All right. So uh, hey, uh, looks like it's going to install. This is just too cool. There's the light flashing on the SIM card. And we come over here, and the light flashing on the CD-ROM drive. And installing just fine. Well, it seems like it installed good, so let's turn it on and see what happens. The chip is still inside right over here, right there, so no CD ROM driving in. And let's see if it boots up. Well, no operating system found. So uh, let's go ahead and go in the BIOS and see if we can make a boot off the uh, USB or, or SIM. So here, here's the BIOS. Uh, let's go to boot order, boot device. Ha ha ha, there's nothing. There's no floppy on here. No hard drive in there. And there's only, uh, it doesn't see, it doesn't even see that there's a... Uh, Go to advance. There's a USB. USB ports. It sees USB ports, but it won't boot from the USB port. So, not everything I do is successful. That goes to prove that. It was a test to see if it could happen. But just think, if your if your computer can boot to a USB or flash drive, you can run uh, Ubuntu. Uh, this is you. This is a uh, Ubuntu 64 that I put on here because it's a 64-bit computer. Uh, so, yeah, give it a try. All right. Uh, it did actually install on that flash chip because it saw it, but it won't boot from the flash chip. So, oh well. Hey, uh, I know you're not going to like this too much because it didn't work. But uh, subscribe anyway. Uh, it just shows not everything I do is successful. And it uh, looks like I'll be getting rid of this um, all-in-one because it eats up hard drives. Somebody can use the screen, I'm sure, uh, the, the nice clean screen. And there's some other devices inside that you can use. All right, take care. Bye.